Sam, are you going to teach us how to plant tomatoes today? Yeah. So we always start out by making sure that the tomatoes have a full root ball. So you can see here, we got a nice full root ball before we plant it. And we make sure to water the soil right before we transplant it so the roots aren't too shocked when they go into a drier bed. Then we prune it, which this is a scary, terrifying thing after growing these tomatoes for so long we actually just chop off their branches. So the lower branches, and these are their little baby cotyledons, so they aren't too important. You wanna chop off the branches that are in the lower half of the plant so that they don't touch the soil because that's how they transfer um, disease into the rest of the plant. Okay, what's the next step? All right, so how we do our tomatoes, we space them 24 inches apart and then we do staggered rows. So here we have two plants already planted 24 inches apart and then I know I'm going to be in the center on this row here. So we've already drawn a straight line down the bed so we know where to uh, put in our shovel and then we go about shovel deep. So we want to get it all the way into the ground like this and pick up the soil, not making sure not to get it onto any other tomato leaves. And then we go in for a second time, not any deeper but just to get that soil that kind of filled up. After that we have our handy fertilizer. So we like to give it, we've got some soil amendments in here and then this is chicken manure fertilizer that has some more nitrogen and potassium and um, phosphorus. So we pour this right in the hole and then some on this soil that will fill back in. Then we take our tomato plant Thank you, Sarah Zoe. And we put it right into the bottom of that hole so it's gonna be a shovel deep. We put it in, then we fill it back up with this fertilizer and there's, like I said, compost in here, some other amendments. And we fill it back in. And this is where it's a little strange. You don't wanna pack it down like a lot of other transplants, but you fill the soil in around it and then lightly make a well around the plant. And this well is to hold water right at the base of the plant where it needs it the most. And the reason you don't pack it down is so that there's some give because these are so tall. It might get windy in here and we don't want them to snap because they're pushed down so hard, but instead they can kind of um, ebb and flow with the wind. Sam, thank you so much. I just have one last question. Yeah. If I didn't have a shovel like that at home, about how deep is that? Is that about 12 inches? Yeah. I would say about a foot deep. Yep. All right. Yeah. So making sure in the um, tomatoes actually root from their stem so that it's okay that they're buried a bit deeper than their original root ball because they'll send out even more little roots from the base of their stem. And I'm guessing there's one more step um, to make this totally planted. Yeah, then we're going to water it in. Yeah, so we'll take our, ooh, our watering can. And you can do this with a hose, of course, too. But again, the idea is to not get the leaves all that wet or covered in um, soil or with water. So you go at the base of the plant and we count to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it gets a nice good drink before it um, can start to expand its roots and grow. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.